This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 5 starts now. The BART strike threat. Union workers making their case to the public with this eye-catching video. I have 84 cases of fear evasion in one day. Portraying their jobs as downright dangerous. Someone was shot and killed upstairs. In the head. Shot in the head. Unruly passengers, a dirty environment, and more. Tonight, the transit employees demands, while BART fires back with something stunning as well. Now at 5 o'clock, BART employees tell Cron 4 unruly passengers are attacking and injuring the station agents, and they say that BART is not doing anything about it. This as contract talks are stalled and a strike is looming. Crown 4's Justine Waldman is live tonight at the West Oakland BART station with video of those attacks. Justine. Pam, these BART agents tell me they are pushed, they are shoved, they have weapons pulled on them, and changes need to be made in order to keep them and passengers safe. I was punched uh, twice in my eye right here. That is a BART station agent. He is showing off one of his black eyes. He says after a passenger punched him, sending him to the hospital, the union made this video to show the violence and the disgusting conditions it says workers face every day. Station agent Sarah Bump tells Cron 4 News a bloody passenger came at her with a knife and it took 40 minutes for police to arrive. She called it a terrifying experience. And it just makes me really um, very upset and saddened that BART does not even care about my safety, but let alone the safety of the 400,000 people we move a day. It's very disappointing because I'm unable to do my job the way that I need to and want to do my job because I have no protection. So the union wants a few changes made, including putting bulletproof glass in the station booths, not assigning agents to work alone at night in high crime areas, and increasing bol BART police response times. They pointed to BART police statistics that show in the past three years, almost 2,500 serious crimes took place in just five different BART stations. As we come back out here live, they want this these safety regulations, these safety changes to be included in the current contract talks. We'll have more details on that coming up at 6. And also, we just found out that a BART worker is now facing serious charges being charged by the district attorney's office for lying about one of those attacks. We'll have that story coming up tonight at 6. Live for now at the West Oakland BART station, Justine Waldman, Cron 4 News. Meantime, BART says it is willing to work with the employees about their safety concerns, but says there are other things that need to be addressed first. Right now, they're paying nothing into their pension. That's unheard of. State employees pay into their pension. Anyone that's part of the CalPERS pension program pays, but BART employees don't. And we're asking them, let's just start paying a little bit more. And on health care, our employees pay only $92 a month, no matter how many people you have in your family. $92. No one in the Bay Area pays that. Contract talks will resume on Monday. In addition to those benefits, new information tonight from BART about worker pay. For 2013, the average base salary of a BART employee is $79,500 a year. Again, those talks will resume on Monday.